South Alabama wide receiver Jalen Wayne. And if the last name sounds familiar, people in this area know his uncle pretty good, Reggie Wayne. How much has Reggie kind of helped with your, with your, you know, grow as a wide receiver? Uh, well, I haven't played the game of football real long. In high school, I was most of a basketball player. But when I decided to play and I got my college opportunity, he kind of got involved with me around my after my freshman year. And since then, he's kind of been like a father figure. And uh, he just critiques everything. And I'm a real big critique of myself, but he's way bigger of a critique. Just making sure I never feel satisfied, making sure I know there's always another objective to go after. He's just like a, you know, a guy to chase and a record book to chase, a number to chase to me. So it's always a pride thing with us, you know, just trying to be better than he is and play as big as he does so it's, it's definitely good having him in my corner you know Jalen you kind of a guy watch your routes and stuff you're a route guy I mean he's probably told you and you've worked on steps and, and a matter of inches in a in a route it makes a big big difference yeah he definitely just tells me you know with the size that I am as a receiver I'm, I'm a big guy but if I'm able to move and run like little guys are then that's going to just separate me as the game goes so he's always gave me drills and just workouts to do that make my feet better make my hips better and make me easier to uh, get from point A to point B so I'm just glad that he's always done that for me. You mentioned basketball. Basketball translates very well, especially to wide receiver. Yeah, uh, I definitely like basketball being in my uh, background because when the ball's in the air, I just feel like it's kind of like rebounding, you know, just coming down with it and always competing for the ball. So that's how it kind of correlates between the two for me. You know, playing in this dome stadium here uh, might have a future. I mean, 150 career catches. 1900 plus yards 14 touchdowns that's some serious numbers yeah uh, definitely grateful for uh, the stat line that i have but just definitely more grateful for the wins and just having this season with my guys you know 10 wins double digit wins isn't easy and uh, as a group i'm more happy than uh, personally for my stats so uh, definitely looking forward for the future in football too but right now definitely just looking forward for this last win with my friends and my family and my coaches so let me ask you this, and this is something you got to want to do. Routes and catches are great, but you like to block, don't you? Definitely. Uh, if I can catch a guy slipping, I'm going to catch him slipping. But also, I just like blocking. I like, you know, it's always everything. It's competition to me. So any way I can get a win, I, I feel like that, that's how I do it. I just go out there trying to beat my guy every rep. So, What's, what's the uh, – you, you and Carter have a pretty good relationship. What's the goal – for this game coming up against Western Kentucky and and uh, to talk a little bit about this offense. Mm -hmm. uh, the goal for this game is just, you know, just to play to our standard, play above our standard and just keep trying to, you know, beat down on the uh, on the trajectory of this program that we've definitely lifted upwards. So uh, that's the first goal. And as far as Carter and me have a great relationship, uh, just having fun, just getting open for him, giving him open lanes to run. I mean, throw the ball to and uh, just being just being open and scoring touchdowns for him and having fun is really what we just give to the team. And uh, uh, blocking for my buddy Webb over there just to get him open to spring off some runs. Uh, and after that, I think that's really it. <laughs> well, there may be another Wayne in the NFL soon. Jalen, congratulations. Good luck this week. Yeah, appreciate it.